Obviously, this is kind of a uh, transitional year for us in a lot of ways. Uh, obviously, the big one, Elaine, not being around. But also, we have 11 of our 14 kids. We have 14 on our roster, one's a walk-on. And 11 of those kids are freshmen and sophomores, uh, one junior, and then um, two seniors, one who's really never played because of knee injuries, and then a senior transfer uh, from Stanford who has also been injured and not had a lot of meaningful minutes um, as, as far as seniors would go. So we're new and young and talented, and I have no idea about our team. Michelle Harrison, uh, the transfer from Stanford, uh, she's a Utah kid. We've known about her for a long time as we've played them every year. She's learning our system. Uh, it's completely different than what Stanford does. Um, so it, for her, it's just been a, it's been a learning curve again. I wish we had her for more than one year, that's for sure. But uh, it, she, she's been playing very well. Uh, freshman from, from Canada, uh, Michelle Plouffe, who has a, you know, a ton of international experience, has, has also played very well and been uh, a pleasant surprise a, as a freshman for us. We play Stanford, Arkansas, and Washington at home. We play Penn State, Wisconsin Green Bay, and Hartford uh, in a tournament. We're at Mississippi State, um, at SMU. I, I did the schedule, so there's nobody to blame but myself. Um, but it's, uh, you know, the, the Mountain West Conference is a very, very good conference in women's basketball. We've had the opportunity to win it seven of the 11 years um, of the, you know, the programs exist, of the league's existence. And, you know, that's, that's our focus of how do we get good enough to be good enough to win that league. And I think playing the, the preseason schedule that we play will, will prepare us for that. We'll worry about next year and future years when future years get here. Right now, you know, we, we got to get experience and practice. A little different this year for us. Women's basketball changed uh, their opening practice date. Uh, we started practice October 3rd this year, so we've had 16 practices already. Um, we're in the middle of a couple days off here, but we, we know a little bit more, uh, but we're still so young. I think we're going to play 10, maybe 11 early. Obviously, we won't play that many as the year goes on, but with so many young people and them all being so close, we got to give them all opportunity early to see who can play in games and who can't. So it's going to take us a little while to shake some of that out, and hopefully we're good enough by the end of the year, and then we'll worry about next year next year. Taryn Wachowski and Janita Badon, um, simply because we have not named them captains. We haven't voted on captains, but they lead because they were born leaders. Our kids follow them and um, they've worked incredibly hard at everything that they do and it's, uh, we have not had any issues with leadership because they've all just sort of followed along. And our job right now is to get this group of kids as good as they can be so that we're prepared to play our first game against SMU on November 12th and then we'll worry about the next game after that and, and that's the only way you can prepare a team. If you start worrying about the things that you can't control, you're not going to be good at the things that you can. So we, we're just, we're going to worry about what's going on right now.